Hello everybody, welcome to another video, this is going to be my first vlog in about four months, it's crazy how quick uh, time goes. Um, so, yeah, if you don't want to listen to me ranting on about random crap for, it'll probably be above ten minutes, then uh, tune out now because this is going to be one boatload of uh, news and information basically. So, before I start the whole me ranting about stuff thing, um, I got an email. Uh, a couple of days ago, and um, I'll put it somewhere on the screen somewhere now. Um, came from Jamie Alessi, I think his name is, and um, I don't have it in front of me. I can't read it out to you, but basically it said um, I've looked at most of your videos, and they all seem to be unboxing videos. Why do your parents buy you all this stuff? Um, and it's sort of grinded on me a little bit. I usually, I've got a couple of them emails now, and I usually ignore them, or just reply, giving, just t telling the truth, basically. Um, I just want to get it out there to everyone who does look at my channel and thinks, God, this is a spoiled little brat here. <laughs> um, yeah, I do the washing up at a pub every weekend. I get paid for that. And, um, that's like a sort of trickle of money you could say coming in. Um, I also, as any other kid does, get money at Christmas and his birthday. Um, but this family isn't by no means rich. <laughs> um, we live in a terrace house in South Wales, and um, I understand. I sort not sympathise, but I understand. I got stuff behind me that it's expensive kit, um, and. Yeah, I have the trickle of money from the washing up, and I have money from my Christmas, my birthday, and I have this thing I like to call my bubble of money. Um, it's ever increasing in value, I guess, sort of, a little bit maybe. Um, basically, the bubble of money is a pile up of all of the stuff I own, basically, as well as the cash I have in my wallet. So, I, like uh, the eMac, the iMac, the MacBook. Um, as well as the money I've got in my wallet at the moment, it's just all that, all into one, like the combined value of everything I own. And I'd say it's probably worth about £400 now. And that was if I were to sell all of this stuff. So then you may be thinking, well, surely you get a couple of hundred quid every year from your birthday and Christmas. Um, isn't, don't you have a load of money? Um, no, because I sell Macs on, as you probably know. Um, I buy them, use them, sell them, usually for a lower price, which I sort of accept because I think, right, I've used this for however many months, I've got my use out of it, and I think I've got it, I, it's paid for itself, basically. So then I sell it on, usually for a lower value, because of depreciation. Um, and... That's how it works, basically. That's why it's sort of like a static income. And I keep on upgrading, keep on building up the ladder in, in the stuff I buy. Like, a couple of years ago, I had a very first-gen iPod Touch. Um, went up to an iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, multiple iPod Touches in between. And now I've got an iPod uh, Touch 4th-gen in front of um, me recording the video right now. And I'll go on to that in a minute, because that's a, that's a new purchase. I did have a uh, Galaxy Nexus, but... Again, I'll go on to that in a minute after I've got this out uh, off my chest. Um, I had that eMac that's down there. Um, I'm getting a big shelf in you. Again, I'll go on to that in a minute. Um, but I, that eMac was my very first desktop Mac. I then built it up. 1.6 gigahertz G5 Dual, 1.8 gigahertz G5 MacBook iMac. As I'm just constantly selling these on, and then the it's sort of the depreciation is then like overlapping on the money I'm getting for Christmas and birthday and from my little job. So it sort of balances itself out and depreciation, is, although it does hurt the value of the max I have at the moment, it also hurts the max I have in front of me now because it that it means that they then become cheaper, um, which means I can get them. So yeah, that's how I earn, my, well not really earn my money, but that's how I get stuff. I get bored easily, you could say. Um, yeah, I'm very, very indecisive. I'm not spoiled at all. I work for my money and I don't get shoveled money down my throat. So thanks for the email and um, I hope now you sort of understand why I have so much stuff um, scattered around all over the place. So sorry if um, 
that bored you. Um, yeah, that just really, really grated on me, and um, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Um, so yeah, now on to channel and me stuff. I've got two new Macs behind me. You probably haven't really seen that MacBook in too much depth. I didn't do an unboxing video on it because it was a Christmas present. A, a combined Christmas present. It wasn't just for my parents. I got it for a stupidly ridiculous price as well. Um, which you probably know if you follow me on Twitter. Um, and then the iMac is a replacement for the G5 basically. That's my main machine now. Um, I did I did originally think I was going to keep the G5 um, as a secondary machine. Um, but I just did not find myself using it at all. Originally I wanted to use it as my main machine still and use the MacBook as a secondary machine but I just found myself using the MacBook more and more and more so I just thought okay I'll get myself a nice desktop Mac and still keep the G5 because I just, I'm just i in love with the G5 uh, Mac Pro like case design and they're just beautiful machines and um, yeah I, I ended up selling it on anyway because it's only going to go down in value and I'm an absolute sucker for squeezing every last penny I can get out of something I have so um, I sold it before it was too late basically um, hopefully I will have a G5 someday in the future or even a Mac Pro a Mac Pro again with that ladder concept a Mac Pro will probably succeed this iMac um, hopefully within the next year but this 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 Mac is flying guys um, I got it about a month ago now uh, 2 gigahertz core 2 duo um, 3 gig of RAM um, the X1900 with 128 megs of uh, GDDR3 dedicated memory it runs Lion really nicely that's the one thing I really felt that's what made the MacBook feel slow when it was running Lion it just felt slow so um, yeah this MacBook is also a 2 gigahertz core 2 duo um, it's now got 2 gig of RAM a huge 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 uh, thank you to um, I think it's Andrew. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot your name. I, I um, he basically donated two gig of RAM for the MacBook to me. He said, "Whatever, have it." And I am so so chuffed. I'll leave a link um, and an annotation and the link down below for his channel. It's Microtech TV. Um, please go and subscribe to him. He has helped me out so much because I was surviving with one gig of RAM and a snow leopard on this thing and uh, it was pretty sluggish but now I've got 2 gig and I've decided to keep Snow Leopard on it and it's just absolutely flying um, but yeah that's the Mac update it's been super super quick it's been happening and then I've been doing unboxings and other videos so I haven't really been able to talk about these two individually um, but there will be loads and loads of videos to come on both of these you've already seen a RAM upgrade on that and a hard drive, second hard drive upgrade on that um, hopefully I want to stick an SSD in there, that would be absolutely amazing, and then get myself a, an external Fire 4 drive, and um, yeah, I, I, I love the setup I have right now, um, it's not PowerPC, but I will go on to the future of the PowerPC part of this channel in uh, just a moment, but yeah, this, this setup, I'm loving it at the moment, it's absolutely flying, and there is a little bit of me that goes... Ah, I want to go back to PowerPC because it was this or a quad 2.5 gigahertz Power Mac G5, and I'm thinking expandability versus support. And this time I just caved in and went to support. So sorry, PowerPC fans, but there will there will be more PowerPC Macs to come in the future. I promise you that. So uh, talking of PowerPC Macs, um, basically it's coming up to my birthday now, uh, 9th of April, and I'm basically, behind you is a wall, <laughs> obviously, um, but yeah, I'm getting myself a nice sort of like, uh, you know those industrial grade sort of shelving units you keep in garages, um, I'm getting one of them, um, and basically that's going to be the start of my Mac collection. Um, I've decided I want to do this because I'm just a huge fan of the whole design and sort of amazing sort of way they're just built. Um, for example, the iMac G3s, it's literally one screw, two screw, three screw, and you pull the whole computer out, it, and it's just the way they're built and the way they're designed, I think Johnny Ive is an absolute genius, and um, yeah, I've decided to sort of begin going retro and begin building up a little Mac collection, um, 
I've already ordered something which is really 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 awesome I'm gonna have an unboxing video on it coming up within the next month um, as well as I'm hoping to get some sort of compact Mac from the mid 80s and um, yeah there's gonna be a big sort of collection of stuff uh, going up there and I can't wait to get the cash to uh, start building it up um, but yeah PowerPC, PowerPC is going to be around, I promise you. So now on to mobile devices, um, that's changed again. Uh, it seems only, it was only a month ago really, uh, since I had my Galaxy Nexus and only two months since I had my Peepo. The Peepo obviously was faulty, I sent that back, got a full refund. Um, Galaxy Nexus, got it, loved it, few weeks grinded on. I used my phone or my iPod or whatever it, it is, it's different every day pretty much. Um, I use it every day for hours on end and you get to know it very 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 well and after time I have to say Android's it's nice on the surface but there's still a lot of work to be done there. Um, I remember saying in the Galaxy Nexus review that I would in the state it is not go back to iOS um, which is totally contradictory to what I've just done um, but the little things that grind on you over time in Android just got on my nerves little tiny things that aren't even really worth mentioning just really 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 bugged me and I just could not bear it anymore so um and I could not justify having something in my pocket every day that was likely to break at some point that was worth 200 pound if I were to buy it on eBay and I didn't like it a hundred and fifty thousand percent so I sold it that funded part of the iMac again referring back to the bubble of money and I also got this iPod Touch 4th gen um, it's an 8 gig and um, you think why did you get 8 gig Nile 8 gig is not enough for anything um, I'm only using it for music and for vlogs and um, it cost me 40 pound um, I am an absolute sucker for scrolling through eBay time after time after time after time and just scouring it for every single last bug and I can get I, all of these Macs and iPods and anything here I basically got because stupid people list stuff in stupid places this was listed as an iPod 8 gig um, in the everything else category so everybody of course who wants an iPod touch searches for iPod touch at the very least um, as well as maybe storage capacity um, and they look in iPods and MP3 players. This was listed as an iPod, just iPods. No one searches for iPod, they did search for iPod Touch, iPod Nano, iPod Shuffle, iPod Mini, iPod Classic, iPod Video, iPod Photo, whatever. Um, and they'd look in iPods and MP3 players. So no one found this, I got it for 40 quid and I'm absolutely chuffed with it. It's playing music obviously just fine and I'm really surprised by the sort of quality of the camera. Um, I know it's not great, uh, not for photos especially, but 720p and just for vlogging it'll be absolutely fine I'm a little bit not annoyed but I obviously I, I knew when I bought it but um, it would have been nice to have autofocus in there um, but yeah next year I'll hopefully be buying uh, my iPhone <laughs> my uh, dad's iPhone 4s off him um, so yeah this will tie me uh, tie me by until then so, uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.